Hello everyone, welcome back to another Science of Study. Now you might have already seen my video called How to Stop Procrastinating, but today I want to ask why? Why do we do it to ourselves even when we know it's wrong? Well to find out we need to talk about our brain and an epic battle between Emmett and the party loving panda guy. Bear with me. So this is Emmett. He is everyone's favourite construction worker and is going to represent a part of our brain called the prefrontal cortex. The problem is that Emmett is quite new to brain town and he gets easily overwhelmed by massive building projects or reading instruction manuals he doesn't enjoy or having to deal with things that scare him, like superglue. So when things like this pop up in his life, he's vulnerable, easily influenced and is often led astray by this guy. Party love and panda guy represents your brain's limbic system and it's one of the most dominant areas of your brain. But in the same way that it's really useful as the part of your brain that will tell you to take your hand away from a burning flame because that's not fun, it will also generally run away from anything you find vaguely unpleasant like studying. And because of that, this is how your brain tends to work. Hey Emmett, don't worry about that deadline you have in three weeks, it's ages away, let's just go have lots of fun. Emmett, awesome! And off they go in search of immediate mood repair. Little doses of fun, and that might be checking social media, watching YouTube videos, or playing games. Those boosts of fun are actually small doses of dopamine coursing through your brain. Feel good, chemical rewards inspired by your procrastination. So even though Emmett knows that when he hangs out with Panda Guy, he only ends up feeling exhausted, anxious, and more panicky because he's behind with his work, guess what? He already knows how to cure those feelings. Just hang out with Panda Guy more. Basically, Emmett, aka your prefrontal cortex, is a walkover, and the Panda Guy, aka your limbic system, is a bad influence, meaning that Emmett gets stuck in a cycle of putting off that task till tomorrow, when he should have done it yesterday. So, how do we stop this endless procrastination loop, control the Panda Guy, and help Emmett get a grip? Well, to find out, you need to check out my other video, How to Stop Procrastinating. Subscribe, stay curious, and I'll see you soon. Bye!